Hello everyone, Lucasio, and welcome back to another episode of our daily speed builds. Today we are building an exhibit for nine bended armadillos, as requested by El Pombero. Um, yes, we start off with a very small exhibit, and it will stay a very small exhibit, but it's just for armadillos. Armadillos aren't very big, and they don't need a big exhibit. And it's very, very heavily inspired by a building I saw, uh, an exhibit I should say, I saw on ZooChat of Zooboas in the US. They have nine banded armadillos in an exhibit very much like this one. And in there they are together with uh, cardinals and tanagers or something like that. Two species of bird. <laughs> I know literally nothing about birds, sorry about that. So that's why there is a roof over the exhibit. Because obviously armadillos can't fly. Um, but yes, I was planning on doing that in this exhibit as well. And it is supposed to be in this exhibit as well. But the mods for those birds didn't work. So... Um, you only see the armadillos in the end, but just imagine there are birds in there as well. Because <laughs> then the whole thing makes sense. Um, the roof of the exhibit is in a weird shape because I tried to recreate some sort of netting kind of roof. As opposed to just uh, a chain link mesh, because I really like netting. But sadly we can't really do that in Zutakun, so we have to make do with organic-ish shapes. It doesn't really look good, but it's it's different, and that's what we try on this channel, different stuff. And you know me by now, the focus is very much on the building and the surroundings of the exhibit. So you also see me building an additional exhibit to the side of it, and that is just a, a backdrop for this exhibit to give it some context. I did not plan what was in that exhibit, it is not... Um, good looking or anything it's just filler in the background because having interesting stuff like an exhibit or a building in the background is much better looking than just some random foliage um yeah the exhibit is very latin ish very south american style a bit like my aguti exhibit back in the day so uh, that is cool i really like this style of building I don't know what it is about it, but you can just have very um, very blocky buildings, but still make them detailed. And that's something I do like. I very, very much dislike uh, blocky buildings, but having detailed ones is cool. Like Egyptian buildings, they're also very blocky often, but they have details and stuff, which make them cool. Um, yeah, the inside of the exhibit, I... Uh, messed with the perspective a little bit because I made this gap in between the outside and the inside of the exhibit just because um, the bookshelf trick we use for the gates causes some problems <laughs> because you have an entire bookshelf sticking into the indoor enclosure so by doing this we uh, get rid of that problem and yeah if you don't think about it too much you can kind of see like oh, okay it's the inside exhibit of the outside part. Um, we also have a little maintenance thing for the staff in between the exhibits, which is a cool little detail. I like that. And we have this concrete um, border between the visitors and the exhibit itself, which is also nice, which is what I saw in the uh, actual exhibit on Zucha. So I was like, yeah, let's do that as well. The build isn't very... Uh, special or anything it's a 2 by 2 exhibit it's not <laughs> anything to write home about but yeah making these very very tiny exhibits still interesting and detailed is what I like most in this game I think it's at least what I really enjoy doing so yeah a small episode nothing fancy not an entire complex for armadillos but it's a realistic tiny exhibit. Armadillos don't have huge exhibits even though this is a nine banded armadillo so that will be pretty special at least in Europe but over here in the Americas less so I think. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yes that is pretty much it for the build honestly. 
we just touch up some of the terraining because there isn't a whole lot of terrain you can do in such a small exhibit so you really have to micromanage and put the hills and the ditches in the right places and the textures as well and then we also do the same on the inside and on the inside they also kind of made a shelter out of rocks which is cool and there are loads of uh, different branches and stuff and there is a gate on the ground and one uh, more at eye level for the birds and on the ground for the armadillo so that is neat then you can also uh, I guess let the birds out at different times than the armadillos or something maybe during different seasons who knows um, but yes that is it for the for the build <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed once again um, please do send me more suggestions because the suggestions are kind of running out the doable suggestions um, because I get a lot of suggestions for big stuff and I am not planning on doing big stuff for a while I can if I ever get a lot of time I will try a bigger exhibit but I want to try to focus on these smaller ones because like I said in a past video these small exhibits also take me a lot of time and big exhibits take me way more time and as I still try to do this on the daily I try to stick with smaller exhibits thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow goodbye